everybody, it's me, Danny, or Broker Danny. How's everybody doing? Welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Patience Game. Yes, Patience Game. And yes, today I'm casual, as today is opening day, and well, I'm filming during opening day for the Los Angeles Dodgers. So, what's up, world champions? Now, today's topic will be eight things that you shouldn't do when you're in escrow while purchasing a home. And I wrote them down here and hopefully you guys can understand my writing because I think I could. So number one is don't buy a car. When you purchase, when you're purchasing a home, please do not buy a car. We keep telling our buyers to please do not go and buy a car. Wait until we close, okay? Do not buy a car. Number two, don't buy furniture or open any credit from any furniture store or any place else. Please just hold on tight for these 30 day escrow. Wait until we close and then you could do whatever you want with uh, buying per, uh, furniture. Number three, do not, do not and do not run your credit during escrow. Yes, do not run your credit during escrow. Please, we keep telling people, our buyers not to do that. And just listen, please. Number four, don't make late payments. Simple as that, don't make late payments. Number five, don't open or close any credit accounts. Keep them where they're at unless um, you are being advised by your lender to do that, okay? So do not close them or pay them all off. Just wait as long as you're being advised from your lender. Now, where we're at right now, number six, do not change jobs, please do not change jobs. Where you're at, just keep it unless you get laid off, well then we don't have a transaction. And number seven, do not move money without paper trail. Again, do not move money around. Keep it where it's at, keep it in the bank, okay? Because the, the lenders require paper trail for every cent that you have in that bank account, any savings account. Okay, do not move it around, just leave it. And number eight, do not spend your savings. Do not spend those savings, please, please, please do not spend those savings. If you got for your down payment, keep it. If you got your foreclosing cost, keep that because you will need it. And of course, I added an extra one, communication. If you can see it from there, yeah. Communication, please communicate with your lender or your realtor if you have any questions regarding eight of these but please listen to us, wait until those 30 days and you'll have a successful escrow, okay? After 30 days, after you close, after we tell you you recorded, go ahead and do whatever you wanna do with your money, we have closed. Thank you again and I'll see you on the next episode of the Real Estate Patience Game and like I say, be patient out there, the market's crazy but it's still moving forward. Thank you guys, be blessed, bye.